Yahoo! YouTube, I am Super Genki. In today's thought of the day, I want to talk a little bit about bear ability. I was talking about this in Twitch, but what makes a life bearable? You know, what makes normativity, mediocrity, bearable? Why are we okay with not living our dreams, right? And I think that what makes our lives bearable is working in the present, suffering in the present in order for this to achieve like perceived happiness in the future. You know, if you're in med school, you're gonna have to bear the strain of being in med school, taking all the exams, doing all this stuff for the perceived happiness of being a doctor. If you're finishing college and you're getting a job, you're gonna bear the job no matter, no matter how it is for the money it gives you so that you can have the perceived happiness of buying the things you want, right? I think that this is what like we're fed by society. It's like get a job, get a house, have a family. And I'm not saying that they're not they're not good or bad. It's not a question of good or bad. I think it's more of a question of what do you want? Because I think having a house is awesome and I think that having a family is awesome. My family back in America has a house, but you see it wasn't what I wanted. And if I had sought to get a house after I graduated college, if I had sought to get a job in America after I graduated college, I wouldn't be happy right now because it wasn't what I perceived would make me happy. And I feel this is where a lot of people get it wrong. They forget to ask themselves what would make them happy. They just follow the trends of what everyone else is doing. And I want you guys to think about this. No matter where you are in life, really think about it. Ask yourself, what would make you happy in the future? Because some of the most negative emotions that come with bearability is not having a future goal in mind. You know, you might have a materialistic goal in mind, a future materialistic goal in life in mind, but materialism necessarily won't bring you happiness. You need to have an intangible, a person you want to become, something you can work towards, something you can feel good about. This is what I feel would make life truthfully bearable instead of just being bearable in existence. You know, you don't have to passively exist in this world, but you do have to actively decide why you do want to exist. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really trying to get to 10,000 before the end of this year. <laughs> it's hard, man, it's hard. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, most importantly, most importantly, share the video with your friends because we need to get the good word of positivity out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.